In this lesson, the children are learning how to sew cross stitch and applique, with you demonstrating to them first. Cross stitch is useful as it not only looks attractive, but it's also stronger than running stitch. Applique is basically a fancy patch. Begin by threading the needle, either by wiggling it up and down until it goes through, or by using a needle threader. Then, tie a knot approximately 2cm from the end of the thread. I find a good tip is to wrap the thread around your finger and hold it in place with your thumb to make an X before pulling it through the gap. Then, decide which are going to be the bottom and top pieces of your material and starting from the bottom, go up to the top side and make a small stitch of about half a centimetre and go back down to the underside. Repeat, but this time the stitch will cross the last stitch at a right angle, making a cross. Show the children how to prod the material slightly with a needle first, but without piercing it so they can see where the stitch will be going. The children should be aiming for their stitches to be consistent in size and pulled tight and close together. There are two types of applique, regular and reverse. We'll look at regular applique first. Begin by neatly cutting the shape you want out of material and laying it on top of your other piece. Contrasting colours or textures work really well. Then, using cross stitch or running stitch, sew around the edge of the shape to attach it to your material. I'd suggest that running stitch is the easier of the two to use. Your more able children may want to try reverse applique, placing the patch of fabric underneath the main piece and again, sewing it on using either running or cross stitch, then cutting inside the stitching to reveal the patch below. Both the cross stitch and applique can be used for practical fixing, but they're also great for making items look aesthetically attractive. Thank <laughs> you.